We love getting your questions, so we want you to keep them coming via Facebook, Twitter, and on our webpage. Who knows, we might just answer your question here in the studio audience next. All right, everybody, welcome back to the Daily Helpline. And now, Brandy, you are in for a real treat, okay? This yes. is our favorite part of the show. We sent our camera crews out into the field, and here are some questions that they brought back. Let's take a look. I'm a teacher, and sometimes the students have major issues or just, you know, problems, and I've tried everything to talk with the parents, but they don't respond. So then I'm stuck. What do I do? All right, Brandy. All right. We're going to let you have it this first. <laughs> okay. Well, I think... Have you ever heard of the movie Lean on Me? Lean mm -hmm. on Me? Joe Clark? Yes. Yes. He... Mean Joe Clark. Yes. With yes. the bat. With with the bat, but I don't suggest bat? using the bat on the kids. Yeah. He didn't, he didn't. I don't suggest that. He didn't that. use the bat on the kids. But no, he just carried he, he it, did. right? <laughs> yes. yes. But I think, you know, sometimes teachers have to step in for the child, even when the parents don't. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. I, I believe that teachers are another form of a parent. Yeah. I agree. And, you know, the bottom line is this, and I will share this story with you guys real quick, because I have a lot of friends who are teachers. Teachers, God bless you. You don't make enough. You work many hours yes. you, with, with just no resources, and oftentimes the parents check out, too. So I had a friend who's who just had this kid that just acted ridiculous in her class. I mean, laying down, falling out under the desk, throwing pencils at her, just totally unruly. She contacted the parents over and over and over. They never showed up until she finally disciplined the kid and separated him from everybody else. And then what happens? Mom shows up, doesn't believe anything that the teacher is saying. <laughs> How could you do this to my child? How could you do this? And she's like, well, I called you, I called you, I called you. So finally, she pulls out a video and says, ma'am, let me just show you what I deal with when it comes to your son in the classroom every day. And the mom was appalled. She couldn't speak. And so what we have to do is we have to make sure that we're there on the side of those teachers and we give them what they need. Mm -hmm. Parents, we got to show up for our kids Absolutely. and for the teachers that educate them. Absolutely. We just do. You know, it's, it's a challenge because I heard it a little differently. And I, when, at first I was thinking that she doesn't know how to provide discipline, but then I was like, it's really about the parents because mm -hmm. you're trying and these are problem kids and the parents are coming in and probably sabotaging anything that you put mm -hmm. in place. Mm -hmm. And there's, that's really out of your control. I agree with what they're saying in that you have to control the classroom in the only way that you know how. And I would say be persistent with the parents and get administration involved. If they're not involved in their kid's life, let's hold them accountable. Yeah. And even then, you're not gonna be able to control their behavior, but maybe do more than a phone call. Maybe reach out to the principal and say, we need to have a sit down meeting with them because their kid's out of control mm -hmm. and it's really impacting them in the classroom and everybody at this point. So I would say continue to lean in and try to get the parents involved in the kid's life because that can make the difference for them. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. All right, y'all, let's move on to another one. Yes. Uh, why is it so emasculating for men to feel sexy in the bedroom? Like women can wear lingerie, but men can't wear lacy boxers. And there's the stereotype of men to just sit there and have women dress up. Why can't women sit there and have men dress up? Okay, let me tell you this. I love for my man to dress up, but he bet not come into the bedroom with no lacy boxers. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> Now, seriously, and let me say this, because this really comes down to self-esteem, and this really comes down to how you feel about your own manhood. <laughs> we as women want you to be just as sexy as you want us to be, because we see you as our sexy creatures. We love you, we want to experience you in that moment of intimacy and vulnerability, and we want you to show up like that for us. So, show up. Don't put on the lacy boxers. Ca Calvin Klein you, is you, good. You, you, Calvin that's Klein it. is good. And, and if you're not sure <laughs> what your woman wants to see you in, then I'll give you the same advice that I give the women. Ask her to go buy her favorite thing for you to wear and then put it on and come out strutting your stuff. Don't parade. Okay. Strut. Avoid <laughs> the lacy boxers. A lot of movement yes. going on here. Yes. Yes. Like a peacock face. Yes. yes. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Miles, you don't have any lacy boxers, do you? Please you say know, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, but as you were talking about that, I was trying to get this image in my head yeah. of me strutting down the hall in these lacy boxers. Oh, just, no. Uh -uh, no. I can't no. do it. So, but what do you think I'm about being sexy, the though? That, uh, you're the man you're right, on the so show. What do you think about being sexy in the bedroom? Is I that... get this could go either way, but I mm -hmm. just, I don't know. I think that's just a... A woman, women's bodies are prettier to look at than men's, in my You're opinion, because we're a straight guy. Right. Mm -hmm. That may not be the case for most of us, but I'm thinking, um, 
I don't, that's a tough one. I'm scared to yeah. answer. Yeah. He's, he's so scared. I would stop while you can. Yeah, better. Just he, he's touching the vulnerability. <laughs> All I'm going to say is we like to see you be sexy. Women, do we like to see our men show up sexy <laughs> in the bedroom? You know what? I, I'm sorry, Miles. I cannot let you get off that easy. I love because when we get into this area, Miles always goes, nope, I'm going to run. I'm going to back up. Miles, I'm going to need you to answer this question today. <laughs> Come on, Miles. Think about it. Come on, Miles. I don't, think it, don't I share think it too changes much. depending on if it's heterosexual relationship or homosexual relationship. Okay. I really do. So tell. Okay. So in a heterosexual relationship, then tell us, I, I, is it okay for a man to show up sexy in the bedroom? I think it's whatever works for the couple. To be honest with you. Yeah. Because I think you can have a little fun with that, but I just there's nothing about a, a woman walking in with lingerie is a little different than a man walking in with a banana hammock. I mean, it just doesn't work. Banana hammock. Ooh, you know something I, I don't even know what that is. Hmm. I'm gonna have to go look that up. I don't think they can put that on daytime. No, they may pull that one. Yeah, uh, they should. Okay. <laughs> this, this question's making me sweat. <laughs> he gets so nervous, can you tell? All right, so look, if you have a question for us, check out our website and learn how to submit your video, or you can give us a call at 1-800-875-HELP. We'll be right back right after this. <laughs> Coming up. Oh. If you get intimate with somebody, you know, the love starts to kind of turn into a lustful thing. I don't know if anybody else kind of notices mm. that in a relationship. Girl, I'm going to get your number after this and we're going to talk. <laughs> <laughs> we love getting your questions, so we want you to keep them coming via Facebook, Twitter, and on our webpage. Who knows? We might just answer your question here in the studio audience next.